So with the weekly reset, we have the brand new Afflicted Affix that has went live on Mythic Plus. And a lot of people have been messaging me saying that, hey, I use your Plater profile and I noticed that I can't see the Afflicted health bar as well as cast bar. Like how do you get it to look like what you have on screen over here if you follow my mouse? You can see as they channel Afflicted Cry, the cast bar seems to move, right? And it also shows the health bar where if you don't have any form of cleanse, detox or debuff removal, the healer can opt to basically pump heals into the ad to basically remove the fix. And it basically tells the healer how much percentage health the mob has. Currently, they have zero. That's why the health bar is empty. Now, if you use my plater profile by default, they wouldn't show this cast bar and health bar. In fact, the only clue you will have is just simply the name, Afflicted Soul. You don't see any health bars, any cast bars. So how do you fix that? Let me run you through three simple steps for you to go from this, which is basically the Afflicted Soul just having a name and not being able to see the cast bar and the health of the mob to something like this, where you do see the health bar and the cast sequence. How long more before the cast goes off, right? You can see it channeling over here. All right, so we're in game and you type slash plater to basically bring up this settings menu. It's very complicated but I'm going to walk you through just the three settings that you need to make. But before that, it might be worthwhile to go to profiles under this tab and just click export profile. And you want to copy the string of text that appears here and paste it somewhere and save it on your desktop. Why? Because some of you have made changes to my Plater profile for your own customization or personalization. And that's fine. But you probably want to save it away first before you make any changes that lets you see the friendly nameplates properly on those afflicted mobs. And the reason why I tell you to do so is because it has implications on how Plater behaves. And I'll explain why later in the disclaimer section. All right, so how do you go about doing the three steps? And by the way, a shout out to Zing from my community who was the one who conceptualized this idea of a solution. The first step, type slash plater, bring up general settings, this very first tab here. The first thing to do, you want to make sure that you uncheck hide blizzard health bars. You want to uncheck this because you do not want to hide blizzard health bars because blizzard health bars is the only way you can see the health bars of those afflicted mobs right now. Due to the way it's coded, plater is unable to show them by default. And I believe a lot of people are having the same problem. Anyway, the first step is to ensure you uncheck Hype Blizzard health bars. Next up, you go to the Friendly NPC tab over here. You want to make sure firstly that is enabled. You want to check enabled and you want to make sure the module is enabled. And under Show, you want to check for all NPC name. That's the second step. Now go to the third step. Under the Advanced tab, the first thing you should check is Show health bars on non-attackable units. You want to make sure that this checkbox is ticked. And it's because these mobs, the afflicted mobs, they are not attackable, right? They are friendly to you, but you still want to force Plater to show health bars. The next thing to do on this tab is to tick this box, show friendly NPCs. And that's because the mobs are friendly NPCs. The next thing to do is to go to friendly box selection space and change the height. Because by default, I put them as one. That way they don't interfere with you clicking on the different nameplates that you want to target when you pull the entire room and there are a lot of nameplates on your frames, right? But now there's actually a reason to click on the friendly box selection space. So I actually increased it from one to 28 or 29. This is personal preference, right? You can have it way bigger maybe if you are a spec that needs to cleanse those mobs and you want to have an easier time clicking on them. But I find that 28 or 29 works for me. And that's really it. Just type slash reload. And when you go into dungeons, it should work. Now, just in case it doesn't work for you, and I think this is very low probability because a lot of people in my Discord have tested this solution and they told me it works. But just in case it doesn't, try one more setting. Go to the game options under interface. Make sure you toggle always show nameplates and you want to toggle on for friendly player nameplates here. I have it off and the solution works, but I also heard in some rare scenarios, you need this to work. Now, unfortunately, World of Warcraft is full of spaghetti codes because the game is built you know, 20 years ago. So just keep this in mind. If the solution by default doesn't work for you in dungeons, you might need to check this first but I have it unchecked and it still works for me. Another reminder, you will only know for certain whether the solution works for you when you zone into the dungeon and you do the afflicted affix. You can't tell whether it works just by walking around town and seeing friendly NPC names. Moving into the disclaimer part of this video, remember earlier I asked you to export your profile? There's a reason for that. Because we have changed the height of the friendly box selection space. And that interferes with you clicking on the nameplates of enemy mobs during combat. Because now friendly nameplates 
clickable area has grown in terms of height. So you might accidentally misclick them. But on a week like Afflicted, it's important to have that, right? Because you want to click on them in order to cleanse them. However, in non-Afflicted weeks, maybe you go back to your old profile where you have just one height, one pixel of height for the friendly nameplate. So you won't ever accidentally click on friendly nameplates during those weeks where you don't have to care about Afflicted. And that's the disclaimer. And so if you follow these settings, you will now be able to see the health bar, and the progress of the channel for these mobs, right? You can see this mob is now at 20% cast in terms of afflicted cry. Another pro tip, I will drop a link to a weak aura that basically is super helpful on afflicted weeks. It tells you how much seconds you have before the cast goes off, as well as the percentage health of the mobs. You can see the timer counting down here, right? That basically tells you how many more seconds you have before the mobs gets their cast off. It also has an audio cue that alerts you that they have spawned. So if visual cues like Blater isn't good enough, they now provide audio cues. Now at the point of this video, I've tried looking around for Blater mods that makes the names more sparkly or it makes the nameplates glow for these afflicted mobs, and there isn't any yet. And I've got a feeling it's because of how the Plater add-on interacts with these mobs. TLDR, this is the best we can do as of today. Now, further down the line, if there's a more elegant and simplistic solution, I will make another video. So make sure you stay subscribed to this channel. You don't want to miss that update. I also stream on Twitch. Feel free to swing by to hang out. Good luck in the afflicted week. Shout out to my Patreon subscribers. I'll see you soon.